Hello friends, welcome back to our tutorial designing an impressive architectural building in Intricat 2018 in Peru. If you have been following along, go and open the file 00 underscore 019 underscore DIAB where you save it. You can also download this file from the web. In today's tutorial, we're going to model the roof for our project. Go to the home tab, layer panel, click the down arrow and make the cabbage layer the current layer. Hold down the shift key and your middle mouse button to orbit so that you can have a better orientation of your model. Go to the home tab, draw panel and select the polyline command. Click on this vertex, use the endpoint object snap and snap on this vertex. Move your mouse cursor into this direction and type 2 feet 6 inches, press enter. Move the mouse cursor in this direction, type 2 feet 6 inches, press enter. Press enter to end the polyline command. Press enter to start the command again. Zoom in into this area. Click, move the mouse cursor in this direction. Type 2 feet, 6 inches. Press enter. Move in this direction. Type 2 feet, 6 inches. Press enter. Press enter to end the polyline command. Press enter to repeat the polyline command. Use the endpoint object snap and snap to this vertex. Move the mouse cursor in this direction. Type 2 feet. 6 inches, press enter. Move the mouse cursor in this direction. Type 2 feet, 6 inches, press enter. Press enter to end the command. Hold down the middle mouse button and pan the drawing up a little bit. Select the polyline command again. Use the endpoint object snap and snap to this vertex. Move the mouse cursor in this direction. Type 2 feet, 6 inches, press enter. Move the mouse cursor in this direction. Type 2 feet, 6 inches, press enter. Press enter to end the command. Hold down the shift key and your middle mouse button to orbit. Select the polyline command. Start the polyline from this point. Move in this direction, type 2 feet, 6 inches, press enter. Move in this direction, type 2 feet, 6 inches, press enter. Press enter to end the command. Now select the polyline command again. Click on this endpoint and this endpoint. Press escape. Start the line command, go to the status bar and turn off the 3D object snap. If you don't see the 3D object snap, click on this button and place a check mark to the 3D object snap, then turn it off on the status bar. Now use the 2D object snap and snap to the midpoint of this line. Now turn this object snap off, move your mouse cursor up, make sure that your auto mode is on and type 5 feet 6 inches on your keyboard and press enter. Press enter to end the command. Press enter to repeat the command again. Turn on the object, running object snap and select the, and start a line from this point to the end point of this line. Press escape. Now select this line. Avoid the mouse cursor to see the distance. The distance is 28 feet 6. Half of 28 feet 6 is 14 feet 3 inches. Then half of 14 feet 3 inches is 7 feet inch and half. Now select the line command. Use the object snap and snap to the midpoint of this line. Move into this Z direction. Type 7 feet 1.5. Press enter. Press enter to end the command. Hold down the control key and type 1 on your keyboard. Now select this line to verify the distance. All right, if your distance is 7 feet 1 and a half, that's the correct distance that we are looking for. Press escape. Select the polyline command. Start a line from the vertex, this vertex. Move the mouse cursor in this direction. Type 2 feet, 6 inches. Press enter. Move the mouse cursor in this direction. Type 2 feet, 6 inches. Press enter. Press enter to end the command. Now select the line command. Start a line from this endpoint to this endpoint. Press escape. Select this line over the mouse cursor. The distance is 16 feet. So select the line command and start at the midpoint of this line. Move the mouse cursor up and type 4 feet on your keyboard. Press enter. Press enter to end the command. Select the polyline command. Click on this air vertex. Move the mouse cursor in this area. Type 2 feet. 6 inches, press enter, move in this direction, type 2 feet, 
six inches, press enter, press enter to end the command. Press enter to start the command again. Snap on this vertex. Move the mouse cursor in this direction. Type two feet, six inches, press enter. Type two feet, six inches, press enter. Press enter to end the command. Press enter to repeat the command again. Snap on the on this area. Move the mouse cursor in this direction. Turn off the object snap and type two feet, six inches, press enter, press enter to end the command. Select the line command, snap on the, turn on the object snap, snap on this vert, vertex, move in this area, type two feet, six inches, press enter, move in this direction, type two feet, six inches, press enter, press enter to end the command. Select the line command, start a line from this endpoint to this endpoint, press enter, press enter to start the line command, use the midpoint object snap and snap into the midpoint of this line, turn off the object snap and turn on the auto mode, move into the Z direction, type 1 foot, type 1 foot 11.25 inches, press enter, press enter to end the line command. Press enter to start the line command. Turn on the object snap. Snap at the, the end point of this line. Move the mouse cursor into the Z direction. Type 27 inches on your keyboard. Press enter. Press enter to end the command. Now go and select this polyline and select this line. Right click, select similar. Right click, isolate, isolate object. Go to the home tab, draw panel and select the 3D polyline start the polyline from this endpoint to this endpoint and this endpoint press escape press the f8 key to turn off the auto mode select the 3d polyline command start a polyline from this point to this point to this point press enter press enter to start the polyline command start a polyline from this point this point this point press enter press enter to repeat the 3d select the 3d polyline command Start the line from this point, snap to this point, and this point, press enter. Press enter to start the command. Start a polyline from this point and this end point, press enter. Now, before you bring the object back, change this line to a different color so that they can stand out from the drawing and see exactly the way it is in the drawing area. Now, go to the property palette. If your property palette is not active, hold down the control key and press 1. Now click on the color and change the color to blue color. Press escape. Right click into the drawing area. Isolate and object isolation. Zoom in, in, pan the draw into the left and zoom in into this area. Select the 2D polyline command. Start a line from this point. Turn on the auto mode and extend it to this direction. Press enter. Press enter to repeat the polyline command. Start a line from this point. Extend it in this direction and press enter. Go to the home tab, modify panel and select the offset command. At specify offset distance from type two feet six inches, press enter. Select this line and offset it in this direction. Select this line and offset it in this direction. Press escape to get out of the command. Go to the home tab, modify panel and select the fillet command. Type R on your keyboard and press the space bar. Type 0, press the space bar. Select this polyline and this polyline. Now select this polyline. Go to the properties palette, change its color to magenta. Press escape to deselect the line. Select this polyline, this polyline, and hit delete on your keyboard. Now go to the mod 3D modeling tab and select the extrude command. Select this blue surface, press enter, move the mouse cursor and snap to this endpoint. Press enter to repeat the extrude command. Select this surface, press enter, move the mouse cursor and snap to this endpoint. Press enter to repeat the command. Select this surface, press enter, move the mouse cursor and zoom in into this area, snap to the vertex of this slab, press enter to repeat the extrude command, select this line, press enter, move it into this direction and snap to this area.
hold down the shift key and your middle mouse button to orbit to see the results now we need for clean up our roof to do that select the roof right click select similar right click again isolate isolate object go to the surface tab select the trim command select this surface press enter select this surface press enter click on this surface this surface to trim off the surface press enter press enter again to repeat the surface command select this surface press enter select this surface press enter hold down the shift key and your middle mouse button click inside this area to trim off the surface press escape now go to the home tab draw panel and select the line command at specifying base point from start at this end point hold down the shift key and your middle mouse button to orbit turn off the auto mode on the status bar about the mouse cursor into this area and type 15 feet on your keyboard press enter press enter to end the line command press enter to repeat the line command again start a line from this point and snap to the to this point press escape now select this surface and hit delete on your keyboard select this two line go to the home tab modeling panel and select the extrude command snap at the edge of this surface go to the surface tab and select the trim command select this surface this surface this surface press enter select this surface this surface this surface press enter click to trim this surface click to trim this surface click to trim this surface hold down the shift key and your middle mouse button click click press escape to get out of the command close the property palette click the down arrow and select the zoom real time click and drag to zoom out hold down the middle mouse button to orbit press escape now right click isolate and object isolation select this surface select this 3d polyline go to the surface tab and select the extrude command snap to the this the vertex of this surface go to the surface tab edit panel and select the trim command select this surface this surface press enter select this surface this surface press enter click to trim this surface hold down the shift key and your middle mouse button click to clean up this surface press escape to get out of the command go to the surface tab grid panel and select the extrude command select this magenta line press enter move the mouse cursor to the z direction and snap to the vertex of this surface Go to the surface tab, edit panel, and select the trim command. Select the surface, this surface, press enter. Select the surface and the surface, press enter. Click to trim off this surface. Press escape. Select the surface and hit delete on your keyboard. Go to the home tab. Click the down arrow and select layer properties. This brings the layer properties manager. I've the mouse cursor into this area to expand the layer. Click the great new layer button. This creates a new layer named layer one. Rename this layer to roof and click the color swatches to bring the selected color dialog box. Select the index color number 4, which is cyan, and click OK. Click the export to close the layer properties manager. Now select the surface, right click, select similar, click the down arrow, and move this object into the roof layer. Press escape to deselect the roof. All right, we have already completed our roof. This uh, this is some of the way how you can greet a roof. There is a different different method to greet a roof. So, if you want to greet more complex roof than this one, you can check on my tutorial designing an impressive architectural building in AutoCAD 2018 metric or you wait for the tutorial which I create purely for roof. If you like this tutorial, please click the like button and share it to your friend. If you have any question, please leave a comment below. If you want to continue this tutorial or any other tutorial on my channel, please subscribe. Thanks very much for watching. I hope to see you in the next class. Goodbye.